Hi and welcome to this video where I will be showing you how to take care of African natural hair. African natural hair needs a lot of extra effort to make it at its best. In this video, I will show you how or I will discuss the best practices for washing, conditioning and styling your African natural hair. So, let us get started. The first best step when taking care of natural African hair is detangling. As you all know, or in most cases, many African natural hair tangles themselves, flees themselves, so you have to start by detangling them. I apply a small amount of any conditioner, may it be service conditioner, may it be treatment, may it deep, it, all those, may it be leaving, so that to easy the process of detangling. Using a comb, as you can see from the video, start by combing your hair, making sure that you hold the hair so well so that you can reduce the rate of leakage. The aim of this conditioner is to make sure that we have very minimal breakage of hair. Let us comb this hair directly. I love the way African natural hair cooperate well with any conditioner. Any amount that you apply on this hair, it works very well. As you can see, the hair has just softened itself. And every time I recommend an African woman to start the hair processing by pre conditioning. That's it, that's our hair. The next step in taking care of natural African hair is washing or shampooing. It is important to choose a gentle, surface free shampoo to avoid splitting your hair of its natural oils. When washing your hair, be sure to use lukewarm water and massage the shampoo into your scalp for about two minutes. Then rinse through it with cool water, as you can see from the from the video. Avoid using a lot of shampoo on your hair. For if you use a lot of shampoo on your hair, it will damage the oils that are found are naturally found on the surface of your hair. Be careful on how you shampoo. Sometimes, and the research that we have done as hairdressers, shampoo can be more dangerous than relaxers. Be very careful on how you choose your, sh your shampoos. Sometimes back, I interviewed a woman with a Caucasian hair, and I want, really wanted to know why do they have long hair. And she told me they are very careful on how to shampoo their hair. Most of the time, they do it only on the scalp. Recently, I have tried it on my clients. I really don't club, club the long hair. Either I concentrate much on the scalp and I have seen it is really working. The hair of my clients have really I want us to do the best to the African natural hair. 
the next and best practice you can do to natural African hair is conditioning. Conditioner helps to nourish and hydrate your hair, more especially an Africa natural hair, which tends to be drier more than any other hair type. Apply the conditioner even making sure you focus on the ends, which are more prone to damage. Massage the conditioner in so well for some minutes. This helps the head to have good circulation of blood, which improves hair growth. Do it for some time and start detangling the hair as you can see from the video. As I told you, African natural hair tends to tangle itself time by time. That's why we keep on detangling. Do it from the back, moving towards the front. This makes you to make sure that every hair strap is detangled. you put your hair under a shower cap for, time, for some time. After removing the shower cap, rinse your hair so well with cool water. Avoid hot water at all means. In another video, I will explain to you how hot water damages your hair. Rinse your hair thoroughly well. Making sure that you have not left any conditioner on the hair. Every time you do a hair rinse, make sure that the hair is truly clean. Truly clean. If a conditioner is not a release, please don't leave any conditioner on your hair. Leaving the conditioner on the hair will only damage your hair. Slowly by slowly. It can also lead to damage of your skull. After raising your hair, it is at this point I would urge you to apply your oils Coat your hair with a ribbon conditioner. This is very, very helpful. Apply the oil on the scalp. Kindly treat your scalp with a lot of care. This is the source 
or it is where your hair comes from. If you damage your scalp, then you have poor growth of your natural African hair. I recently did a research on hair growth and I saw those small things that we hope we hope to live on. They are the things that makes our hair grow better. So apply any oil of your choice or that fits you, making sure that you don't use too harsh oils that may affect your scalp. When it comes to styling and drying your hair, the best option is to air dry it. If need be, for you to blow dry your hair, use a diffuser on your hair dryer. This will help to distribute the heat evenly and prevent heat damage on your hair. In my case here, I won't dry my hair. I will apply some oil and make very very protective twist on my hair. I won't use a pro dry. I have decided to treat my natural hair so well. At this point, my hair has really really changed. I can easily manage it. I can easily feel the sheen. I see the sheen. Feel the texture. It has really, really, really changed. African hair too can grow. Just to do it the best. In my case here, I am not going to blow dry my hair. I am going to make some very little or some big flat twist on this hair. As you can see, I am applying a curling oil just to make it easy for me to do the flat twist. This is an alternative to blow dry or to excess heat dry. You can see the hair is too long. It's only that it springs back but the hair has a little grown. I do all this flat twist on this head and when I finish is the time that I will air dry my hair. I won't use any heat in any case I have decided to. Another important point I won't leave without telling you is how you take care of your hair at night. If I may ask, how do you sleep? Do you sleep without anything on your head? Like I used to do. Until I noticed, most of natural African hair get damaged at night. As you all know, African types of blanket and comforters sometimes are very large and they can damage our hair. It is important to take care of your hair, African hair at night to keep your natural hair looking its best. You can either lap your hair in a silk or satin scarf or use a silk or satin pillowcase. This will help to prevent the frizziness and keep your hair hydrated while you are asleep. Make that point your friend. Don't sleep without a scarf on your hair. And not only a scarf. Don't use any other material on your hair. Use a satin or silk. Those are the best materials for hair care or for hair scalp that you can use at night. And that's it. With this 
simple step. You can keep your African natural hair looking its best. Remember to be gentle with your hair and choose products specifically designed for your hair type. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more great hair care tips. Let's meet on the next video.